Okay, this is lab 8.1.11, where we are going to update firmware on a Cisco switch. So firmware is just like your phone. When it gets an update that updates the software, it updates the firmware, any drivers it needs, any of that kind of stuff. That's same thing with all data hardware. You have to update that firmware. It has bug fixes and security fixes. So we're going to do it right here from the quick access section. And it has a choice right here to upgrade device software. And once we're in here, we're going to choose the file. So in this case, it says it's in our C drive. So I'm going to go to this C PC, go to my C drive, and then into the firmware directory that it has. Then I'm going to look at the numbers on the firmware. You're going to pick the highest number. So in our, this case, it's 1.2.7. So I'm going to double click on that. And now we have that firmware in here. When I click apply, all this does is upload the firmware into the box. It doesn't actually activate it or put it in use. It just copied it up there. So now on the left hand side, I need to go to active image. And I'll see a list here of all the different firmware versions that are uploaded into this switch. And I'm going to choose what I want my new active image to be. So I'm going to choose that new file. And you can see right here, it says that this will, it will change to this after you reboot. So you copy it up, you activate it, and then you have to reboot in order for it to work. So now I'm going to go down on the left hand side here and choose reboot and reboot and that will restart the switch. And as it restarts, it will load that new firmware. So again, think about your phone it doesn't update. Usually it says, do you want to update this tonight? It will update and then it reboots. And so you have to put in your password again to get logged into it. So same thing with the switch. Let's check our answers and we're good to go.